What's going on, everyone? Jeremy from The Quartering, and Tim Pool is very concerned about new YouTube policies in place, and I am too, probably for a little bit of a different reason than Tim, but it is a concerning development nonetheless. We all got emails uh, two days ago, YouTubers did, uh, that YouTube would be expanding uh, how they age-restrict videos. Now, age restriction is not something I've really had to battle against. Um, I've had a couple of videos get hit by it and really with no reason that I could see why. However, I don't know if a lot of you know this. I have a kind of a politics channel called Midwestly um, that I upload two to three times a day. I'll leave it uh, linked in the pinned comment if you want to subscribe to that channel where I cover basically all the world news that is like too heavily political or, uh, you know, doesn't fit here on this channel. Um, and that channel uh, is probably in more risk of uh, negative effects of this. Now, I think the reason is maybe Tim saw this article and didn't read the actual email, or, or I don't know. He's very, very, very concerned, and I think he's got a right to be. Um, YouTube is about to age-restrict way more videos. AI moderation will be used to automatically age restrict certain content. Now I'm going to start with that. That's exactly why I'm scared. YouTube's AI is notoriously bad. Now I understand there's something like, you know, 50 billion hours of video uploaded every hour or something, some insane amount. There's literally no way YouTube can moderate everything by hand. However, the when the ai gets it wrong the systems in place are atrocious let me give you a perfect example they rolled out self out self certification for videos okay meaning i can say if a video has some spice in it or something like that and i can manually monetize it or demonetize it myself on what planet would any youtube creator demonetize something on purpose i don't know the 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 idea is that if they find videos that you said were okay, that aren't okay and at enough of a high rate, then you'll lose self-certification. Well, since self-certification came out, I've had more videos yellowed than I had before it. And now that self-certification's out, you can't, ref you can't uh, request review. It just is like, oh, a manual, uh, some random person who watched 10 seconds of your video uh, confirmed it is demonetized, even though, you know, there's, hardly anybody that dances around more words than I do. So I'm very concerned that the AI is going to be even worse. Now I will remind you, I'm on BitChute. The, I am on Odyssey, which is formerly library. I actually don't know if they made that public or not, but I'm on library. I'm on other video sharing sites. And uh, this is why uh, YouTube is rolling out. More artificial intelligence powered technology in order to catch more videos that may require age restrictions. You know this is going to be really bad. The number one thing you can do if you still choose to use YouTube as your primary uh, viewership is make an account today and subscribe. Because once content gets age restricted, you won't be able to view it without an account. Make a dummy email address and, you know, whatever. You know, that's... I mean, I don't know. This is like, I think a way to get peop more people to create accounts. And I know many of you have emailed me when I give my classic, well, 40% of you aren't subscribed. And sometimes a lot of people email say, look, I don't want to make a Google account. I love your content. You know, and I, that's so wholesome. And if you don't want to make an account, I 100% understand. But if you have an account and you aren't already subscribed, please do right now. There's a red button right below the video. Similar now, YouTube uses machine learning techniques to try to better catch other spicy content and more of the platform's most severe content and later to find videos that include words they don't like in the same approach. They will use this case to automatically flag videos YouTube deem not age appropriate. As a result, YouTube is expected to see far more videos with age gate restrictions. Well, are you going to age gate WAP? That video is borderline like just something you'd find on the hubs. Are you going to age restrict these music videos? Of course not. Of course not. It's This is going to hurt independent creators. That's who it's going to hurt. The company is preparing for there to be some mistakes in labeling. Shocking. As is the case with any route of AI moderation tech, 
And as part of the changes, people watching YouTube videos embedded on third-party sites will be redirected to YouTube to sign in and verify their age. One of the biggest questions facing creators YouTube partnership program is whether these moderation methods will have an effect on the money-making potential. YouTube team doesn't believe so because the majority of videos it anticipates will receive the automatic age restriction have already been demonetized. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks. I know I'm going to, I already see the comments. People say, ah, oh, YouTube's trash. Look, until there's a better option, I need YouTube. Uh, this is where the audience is. I will continue to promote my BitChute page, uh, my library page, wherever. And look, I make zero dollars when people watch my videos on those sites. I don't care. I also pay money to them. I'm a Subscribestar backer of BitChute and other platforms, third-party platforms like Subscribestar. I put my money where my mouth is. I don't care if people watch my videos over on those other platforms. I want them to. But ultimately, YouTube is how I put food on the table these days. You know, the marketing agency is still hanging in there, but times are a little bit different these days. And, you know, when I've got, you know, six, seven videos to upload a day, you know, YouTube has become more of a focus for me. This doesn't mean that mistakes won't happen, as they will, as countless incidents of wrongfully applied labels and takedowns are all manner of copyright controversies have illustrated in the past. But YouTube is bulking up its appeals team to handle appeals as they come in. Another concern creators have is that age-restricted videos won't appear on the homepage. While age-restricted videos are less likely to appear on the homepage, it doesn't automatically prohibit them. Well, they won't appear. The rollout comes as YouTube tries to address global criticism from concerned parent groups and advocacy boards over the website being unsafe for kids. Really? YouTube's team routinely says that YouTube isn't meant for anyone under the age of 13, as the company points to the YouTube Kids, supposedly safer alternative, yet that doesn't stop young kids from using the app at home, otherwise uh, alternative. Some of the most popular channels are built around content creating specifically for kids. Like, hey, like Ryan's Toy Review or whatever. He's a multimillionaire. Right now, YouTube's trust and safety team applies restrictions to videos when they come across them during reviews. If deemed inappropriate for people under 18, it gets age gate. Well, age gate is generally applied through manual flagging. Um, but you know this isn't going to affect Hollywood. I mean, you know that. People are going to still be able to watch WAP and whatever other trash uh, music videos are out there that are basically just prawn. Because of our use of technology will result in more videos being age-restricted, our policy team took the opportunity to revisit where we draw the line. A new blog post reads, after consulting with experts and comparing ourselves against other global content rating frameworks, only minor adjustments were necessary. YouTube's post also notes that people in countries of the EU, there may be additional steps that the new rules require. Well, you have to create a YouTube account. And let me look at why this is a major issue. And, and, and Tim is probably rightfully freaked out because he covers a lot of very spicy topics. And as I've said before, and I'm sure he would agree, it's not necessarily about getting hit with the yellow mark. It's about losing our ability to reach our own audiences. You know, it's not like 800,000 people see my videos every day. I have 800,000 subscribers, about 100 to 200,000 people might get notified occasionally. Um, and that's amazing. It is amazing. But uh, once stuff starts getting age restricted, now they won't be able to see it at all. And here in this, little, here's the actual email. I know you probably can't read it, but there's a line here. Um, they say, we'll be expanding the use of our automated systems along with our team of experts <clears throat> to review age restrictions to videos that aren't appropriate. Well, let me tell you, every time one of my videos gets hit with a yellow mark, the reasoning that they give is never right. It'll say that there's like blurred out things that shouldn't be there or there's, you know, talks. It's never right. Their experts right now are have about a 3% accuracy rate on when, they've, when they take uh, my ability to earn 12 cents on a video uh, from, a, from my politics channel away. But check this out. In order to comply with 
recent regulations, we will also roll out age verification for users in the EU. If our systems cannot establish that a user is over the age of 18, regardless of whether they sign up on their Google account, we will request that they verify their age using a valid ID or credit card. Think about that. So if you're in the EU, which many of my viewers are, it's not going to be enough for you to create an account. You're going to have to give them an identification card. That it reminds me of that classic joke, Norm. ID. The I is short for I. And the D is short for dentification. Huh? 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 In order to... I mean, this is nuts. I mean, this is, this is nuts. And then if we go here, if we open up the actual when you click on that if in their european union or switzerland or the united kingdom the audio audio visual media services directive is an eu wide thing in line with that you may be asked to re-verify your date of birth when watching age restricted videos follow the prompts in order to submit a valid id or credit card what Confirm a credit card for age verification. Confirm your credit card is valid. Confirm you're old enough. If you attempt to watch this, you need to use your ID. Imagine this. Now you have to upload your driver's license, passport, or national ID to watch YouTube videos that a machine is determining whether or not it should gate. This is very concerning, very concerning, especially for my political channel. I'm covering a lot of spicy topics there, and it's very rare that I get ads on a video. I'm sure that now that AI is going to be looking for appropriate topics, this isn't going to affect CNN, though. This isn't going to affect Fox News. This isn't going to affect MSNBC, is it? Nope. Nope. It's going to affect independent creators. If you have an independent creator that delivers news that you value, please consider making sure you're subscribed to them. See if they're available on other platforms. And if you're in a position to, if they have like a subscribe star, like I do linked in the description below, or a Patreon or something like that, consider backing them there. Follow on social media. All my social medias are linked in the description below. It's going to get more and more difficult for independent creators as YouTube tries to force us out and just become a new TV service. But I'm going to stay here, fight it kicking and screaming, and all the way promoting every possible viable alternative for you to enjoy videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.